Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today we're going to be customizing the brand new Anis ZR350 in Grand Theft Auto Online. This thing is based off of a Mazda RX-7. It's a highly anticipated car. Let's get right into it. All right guys, so here we are inside the custom auto shop. Looks like there's a lot of stuff we can do to the car. We're going to start off with the armor, upgrade that all the way. Brakes as well. For the bumpers, we have front and rear options for this thing. For the front bumpers, we have the vented stock bumper, the street bumper, the race bumper, cutout bumper, painted cutout bumper, and the tuner bumper. I personally kind of like the race bumper or the street. I think we're going to go for the race bumper though. For the rear bumpers, we have the rear diffuser or the primary tipped diffuser. I'm going to go for the regular rear. I don't really like the primary tipped. For the engine, we have a lot of options here. Starting off with the engine block, we can go for a primary engine or a secondary engine. We're gonna go for the primary. For the air filter, we can add a primary air intake, secondary air intake, race air intake, primary performance air intake, secondary performance air intake, race performance air intake, primary turbo air intake system, or the secondary turbo air intake system. Let's go for the secondary turbo air intake system. That's really cool. I think that's super sick that you can actually add a turbo into this thing. Next up, we got the strut brace. We can go for the polished strut brace, carbon strut, medium polished, medium titanium, titanium strut brace, triangulated strut brace, wide titanium, large polished, sticker bomb, polished twin bar strut brace, Extreme Belay Strut Brace, Lightened Racing Strut Brace, or the Basic Strut Brace. Personally, I I, I don't really care too much, honestly, but uh, I think we're gonna go for the Lightened, uh, actually, you know what, no. Kinda like the Medium Titanium one. I like that look. Next up, we got Engine Tunes. Of course, we're gonna go all the way up on that. And last but not least, we have the Intercooler. We can add a Custom Intercooler, Small Logo Intercooler, Large Logo, intercooler with twin fans or the intercooler with the water sprayer i think we're gonna go for the large logo intercooler i like that the best next up we got the exhaust Ooh, this is gonna be exciting okay street exhaust titanium tipped dual titanium tipped dual exhaust square exit angled exit angled exit exhaust alt angled blast pipes or the straight blast pipes Honestly, I just like the fat cannons on this thing. The street exhaust or the titanium tipped? Hmm. I think it's going to have to be the titanium tipped. Let's go for that. Next up for the fenders, we can do primary bolted front fenders, carbon bolted front fenders, primary front fenders, carbon front fenders. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go for the bolted front fenders. Why not? I like that look. Next up, we got the rear here. So we got stock rear fenders, primary bolted rear carbon bolted rear, primary rear fenders, or the carbon rear fenders. We're gonna go bolted for both. I think it's a, uh, I think it's a pretty clean look. Next up, we got the headlights. We can go for sleepy eyes or drowsy eyes. I'm just gonna leave them stock, honestly. I, I don't really love either of those looks, but that's cool that they added it. We got the hood. We can add hood catches to it. Primary hood catch, secondary hood catch, hood pins, angled hood pins, latch hood pins, blue latch hood pins, red latch hood pins, gold latch hood pins. Hmm. Um, honestly, I'm not really a super big fan of hood pins in general, but we'll add the angled ones for sure. Next up for the hood, we can add a see-through hood. That's really cool, actually. Carbon stock hood, ribbed hood. That's cool. Carbon ribbed, ribbed hood alt. Carbon ribbed hood alt. Cutting vented hood. Ooh, that's really aggressive. I like that. Carbon cutting vented hood, trident vented hood, carbon trident vented hood, kidney vented hood, carbon kidney vented, fully vented hood, that is sick, fully vented carbon hood, or stock. Honestly, I kind of like the cunt. Honestly, I like the cutting vented hood the best. We're going to go for that one. Next up, we got the interior. We can add a dash to this thing. We can go street interior, semi stripped race dash and stripped interior or carbon dash and stripped interior i think this is going to be more of a street build so let's just go for the street interior i like that look for the dials we can add a single tachometer 
dash gauges, that's pretty sick, pod taco and dash gauges, or the pod mounted tachometer. Let's go for the pod and the dash, That's that seems cool. The doors, we can add weave door panels, weave door panels with handle, lightweight weave panels, ballistic fiber door panels, ballistic fiber door panels with handle, lightweight ballistic fiber panels, carbon door panels, or the carbon door panels with the handle. Um, it's gonna be a street interior, like I said, so let's just go for the weave door panels with the handle. Seats, we can add sport seats to this thing, painted sport seats. Let's actually look at it from outside. Carbon sport seats, ballistic fiber, painted tuner seats, carbon tuner seats, ballistic fiber tuner seats, painted bucket seats, carbon bucket seats, ballistic fiber bucket seats, painted track seats, carbon track seats, ballistic fiber track seats, carbon race seats, okay, hmm. I kinda like the painted track seats, personally, let's go for that. Steering wheels, we can add the Apex Basic, Clubman, Professional, the Formula Basic, Cutout, Clubman, Professional, the Sprint Basic, Clubman, Mark II, Lightweight, Featherweight, Professional, Rally Basic, Rally Clubman, Rally Professional, or Stock. Let's go for the Rally Clubman, I like that look. Roll cage, um, I don't think I'm gonna add a roll cage, but you can add one if you do want to. I personally am not gonna add one though. Next up, we got the headlights. We're gonna go Xenon, of course. For Neon on this car, we could do it. Uh, yeah, I'm not really feeling it, to be honest. Let's not do it. Next up, we got the livery. We can add classic racing stripes, which are white. Anis stripes, that's dope. Anis stripes alt. Shopping list. It's kind of cool, kind of clean. Shopping list alt in white, okay. Sakura tree, I think I know what I'm doing. Sprunk, Princess Robot Bubblegum, Classic Anis Racing, Classic Anis Racing alt. Atomic Drift Team, oh, reach LS Car Meet Reputation level 42 to unlock this. That's really cool, you actually have to play and reach a level in the LS Car Meet to unlock these. That is actually super dope. We have the Fast and Furious one. We have Winning is Winning, Anis Tribal Racing, Anis Racing Tribal Alt. Man, that's so sick. Okay, well, we're gonna go for the Secure Tree. That's a typical build for me. Louvers, we can add primary louvers to this thing or carbon louvers. Uh, I kinda like it, but I also kinda don't. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it off. Next up, we got the mirrors. We can add tuner mirrors, carbon front wing mounted. Okay, that's kinda cool or primary front wing mounted. Let's do, honestly, I kind of like the stock ones, but the primary front wing is pretty dope too. We'll go for that. Plate, yellow on black, of course, for the respray. I know what I'm gonna do for this car. I'm gonna go pretty subtle with this car. Uh, you guys might not like it, but I personally think this is a really good look for this thing. I'm actually gonna go for mariner blue. I've done this exact same build on another car of mine and it already, you know, looks pretty good to me. So I think, I think this is going to match up. Now the secondary color actually does the brake calipers, which is pretty cool. As far as I can tell, it doesn't do anything else other than, you know, obviously secondary color options. We're going to, mm, we'll go ultra blue for the secondary just because it's going to make the brake calipers uh, pop a little bit more. Next up, we got the trim color. Okay. That basically just changes the it basically just changes the color of the dials, so we'll go blue to match up with everything else, I guess. Let's go uh, marine or blue, why not? And the accent color. Oh, that's dope. Okay, so you can change the actual dial color too, so that's that's good. Um, could go ultra blue with it. I think that kind of makes sense, right? Or maybe diamond blue, so it's a little bit easier to see. Let's go diamond blue. All right, next up we got the roof. We can add a race roof scoop carbon race roof scoop, tuner roof scoop, or a carbon tuner. Uh, we'll go for the regular race scoop. Um, I'm not a big fan of roof scoops, but we'll do it. Next up, we got the skirts. We can add street skirts. That kind of matches up the fenders, so so far I'm liking that. Carbon street, tuner skirts, carbon tuner, race skirts. Ooh, that's pretty clean. Carbon race skirts, vented skirts, carbon vented, Competition skirts, carbon competition skirts, custom skirts, 
Carbon Custom, Extended, Carbon Extended, or Stock. I think I kind of want to go for this one, the race skirts. I like the little uh, vent detail that it adds there. Next up, we got splitters. Ooh, dope. Okay. Can add a plastic splitter, secondary splitter, primary splitter, carbon street splitter, primary tipped canards, carbon race splitter, race with primary canards, or race with secondary canards. I kind of want to go for something a little bit basic with this thing. We're just going to go for the primary splitter. Next up, we got the spoiler. Optional spoiler. Ooh, it's so clean. Let's go. Secondary optional spoiler, street spoiler, carbon street spoiler, tuner spoiler, carbon tuner, race spoiler, that's dope, carbon race spoiler, competition spoiler, carbon competition spoiler, big wing, carbon big wing, rear mounted spoiler, that's dope too, carbon rear mounted spoiler, rear mounted spoiler alt, and carbon rear mounted spoiler alt or stock let's go for the optional spoiler i love how that looks that is absolutely fantastic next up we got the sun strips we can add a primary sun strip plastic sun strip white fukaru black fukaru white mind mocked black mind mocked white power metal sun strip or black power metal sun strip Honestly, I think the Fukaru one is pretty clean. We're going to go for that. Next up, we got the suspension. I'm interested to see how low you can go. Not as low as I was expecting, to be honest, but we will drop it all the way down for sure. Next up, we got the taillights. Ooh, you can add green taillights, red taillights, yellow taillights, blue, or iridescent. Um, I think we'll go with the extra red just because, you know, why not? It makes the taillights more red. Next up, we got the transmission. Let's upgrade that all the way. Turbo as well. We got the wheels next. Okay, I think I know what I want to go for with these. We have a new set of rims that you can put on cars now. That's actually really dope. They are called the track wheels. That's actually so sick. Man, there's some pretty clean stuff in here, actually. I almost am tempted to throw something like this on this car but i don't know oh you can't i'm not high enough rank in the car meet damn some of these rims are super clean too man that's crazy actually i was thinking we might get new rims with this that's actually awesome man i kind of like how that looks i don't know though Ooh, the pure business Ooh, some of these are really clean man i'm liking this a lot okay that's dope I'm really glad we got some more wheels I have an idea of what I want to go for with this thing, though. And I'm thinking probably some endos. Endo V4 dished. Let's go for these. And I want to paint these in, like, a dark blue if I can. If there's a dark blue option, that's what we're going to go for. Ooh, maybe not. It's not as good looking as I thought it was, actually. Okay. We might just go for white. Just because I feel like it, uh, I feel like it works with the Fukaru strip. I think it's a pretty clean look for the car. We're gonna actually, yeah, we're gonna go for white. I know some of you guys might hate me for that, but that's what we're doing. For the tire design, I think I want to go for Fukaru white, just because obviously it matches up. Let's do that. Bulletproof tires, of course. Next up, we got the windows. Let's tint those all the way out. This thing is looking absolutely fantastic, boys. I'm loving this. All right, let's take this thing down to the ground. We are gonna do a sound test and a review on it. All right, guys, let's see how this thing sounds. Man, this thing sounds sick. Off the line, quite a bit of wheel spin, not too bad though. Let's actually test if this thing is rear wheel drive only or not. It sure is rear wheel drive only, that's awesome. This vehicle can be equipped with low grip tires at the LS car meet and can be stanced via the interaction menu. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stanced via the interaction menu. Vehicles? Vehicle stance? No way. No way. That is so sick, guys. That is actually crazy. That is so cool. Does that make it like... No way. No way. Does that make the car... 
Oh my god. Guys. Guys, you could actually drift. That is insane. That is so sick. Oh my god, that's going to take some getting used to, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure that makes it so the car can actually drift. That is so cool. Wow. I was not expecting that, to be honest. Okay, let's unstance the car for just the rest of the review, just because I want to see if it actually makes a difference. The car is a lot more drivable now that it's not stanced. That's actually crazy, guys. Wow. First impressions with this thing, it handles amazingly. I love the sound it makes. Oh, oh no. It's actually quite quick too. It's, uh, it's definitely not a slow car, that's for sure. Man, I can't get over how good this thing looks and how it sounds. Oh, this is an amazing car. You guys have got to pick this thing up. I haven't customized the other cars yet, but I have to say, I think this is probably going to be my favorite out of all of them. Let's see how this thing handles in my handling section here. It's doing good so far. Oh, man. This thing handles very, very well. I'm very impressed with this thing, guys. Okay, guys. Well, I think that's pretty much it for the customization and the review today. Make sure you go and check out my other videos after you watch this one. I'm going to have more of these coming out. I'm covering the entire DLC all the way through. So go check that out. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.